This is Alitis, a rescue hope that was on the brink of death due to malnutrition caused by a deformed beak. Orthognathic surgery was planned using its CT scan to design personalized cutting and drilling guides for the correction of the occlusion. The cutting guide was meticulously designed to cut and remove a wedge of about 3 mm, resulting in a rotation angle of 5 degrees anticlockwise to achieve the proper shape. Our secret weapon was a Lindenman burr, which allowed us to make meticulously small cuts. Consequently, a repositioning guide was utilized using the previously drilled holes for the insertion of screws. This helped keep the osteotomies together and aligned in the planned position. The guide also prevented the screws from going more than 2 mm into the opposite cortical area. Since we could not use an internal plate due to the extremely thin soft tissue in the area, the design was intended for using small rods. These rods would allow for closing the soft tissue underneath and if necessary, we could cut these rods, leaving the guide as an external fixator away from the soft tissue. Polymethylmethacrylate was used to cover the screws in order to protect them and also to make them work as a locked system. The results were simply satisfying, the screws and osteotomies were in the planned position, providing such a perfect continuity that it was difficult to distinguish the cut area. Here, our hawk is waking up from anesthesia with a perfect new occlusion, thereby avoiding euthanasia. Thank you very much guys, see you soon.